Dear brothers and sisters, COVID-19 turned the world upside down. It seems like nothing is the same as it used to be. As well as the pandemic situation, many countries are facing challenges. More and more refugees try to find new places to start a better life, so they abandon their homes, families and countries. Moreover, people are losing their trust in political systems. It becomes obvious that in many countries, those in positions of leadership are failing to use their authority well. Countless of them are not accepted by their own citizens. Even some governments and heads of states were recently forced to resign because of corruption. Today, like never before, we need honest, optimistic and courageous leaders who would serve the people and stand for the truth, no matter how inconvenient it might be for some people. Dear friends, I think we need a new kind of leadership, not only globally and politically, but in our homes, in our workplaces, in our schools and faith communities. Sometimes I wonder whether we are aware that each one of us, baptized people, are called to a certain type of leadership, according to our abilities. First of all, we desperately need parents who clearly understand that they are the most important and first spiritual educators of their households. They need to be leaders according to God's heart, who will be true witnesses to their children of gospel values. We need parents who will exercise their authority, encouraging their children to live truly sacramental lives. If you are a parent, please ask yourself, Am I such a leader? If not, what do I need to change to become one? Moreover, we urgently need members of the Church spiritually strong who will not be ashamed to practice their faith publicly. For example, a simple yet powerful sign of the cross before a meal at a restaurant or at a factory during lunch break, may produce a huge impact on others. Who knows how many people would stop and think, even for a short time, about their faith or lack of it when witnessing someone praying before a meal. The question is, are we ready to do that? Also. We badly need leaders who will be not silent in front of those who oppose God's commandments and the Church's teaching. Brothers and sisters, on the day of our baptism, we became priests, prophets and kings. We were anointed for a certain mission on earth and became like Christ. Jesus showed us an example of how to put into practice the authority we were given. In today's Gospel, we see him teaching with authority in the synagogue. Then he commanded an unclean spirit to be quiet and to come out of a possessed man. Above all, we need to allow Jesus to break the chains of our fears in order to help us to use our Christian authority, especially if we are parents. We need to invite the Lord into our families, schools and workplaces, so that he could, through our ministry, free the people from unclean spirits that are behind pride, envy, lust, anger, gluttony, greed and so on. These are the seven deadly sins people tend to forget about in our times. We have to be aware that those sins, consciously committed, disconnect people, fully or partially, from God. It makes me sad seeing good people who consciously avoid any participation in the sacraments of the Church. Are they all simply too busy? I don't think so. I know that sometimes some of them experience mysterious forces holding them back 
from practicing their faith. There are people in our society who are unable to make a sign of the cross or to say a simple prayer even though they were baptized. Many in our society feel an emptiness and a lack of desire to read or listen to the Word of God. These are the consequences of allowing sin to enter their hearts and not doing anything about it. Brothers and sisters, let us have courage to face our weaknesses every single day. I think the best time for an examination of conscience is in the evening, when we can quietly recognize our failures which happened during the day and thank God for all the good things we did. When we are aware about our sinful tendencies and expose them before the Lord, he will transform our darkness into the light of his grace. And, moreover, we will fulfill our baptismal vocation and be able to be authentic leaders, helping others to find God's loving and healing presence.